and what is mine, my love shall render him. And she is mine, and all my right of her, I do estate unto Demetrius. I am! My lord, as well the right as he, as well possess, my love is more than his. And, which is more than all these both can be, I am beloved. Our beauty means Hermia. Why then can I not prosecute my right? I'll adopt you to his head. May love to Nether's daughter, Helena, and won her soul. And she, sweet lady, dotes. Devoutly dotes. Dotes in idolatry upon this body and in constant man. I must confess, I've heard so much, but my mind can lose it. Fair. I'm just off to fit your fancy, your father's will. Or else the law of action will be you up. Which by no means we may extenuate to death or to the vow of a single life. Come and follow us up. My love, Demetrius, Jim, shall go with me for I'm so brightest willing to fall. With doing and desire, we follow your will.
profess the call of general. Man by man, according to the script. Here is a scroll of everyone name which is not fit through all Athens to play an hour interlude before the Duke and the Duchess on his wedding day at night. First, good fit acquaintance, say what the play treats on. Then, read the names of the actors and so grow to a point. Marry our play is the most lamentable comedy and most cruel death of Pyramus and his being. A very good piece of work, I assure you. And now, marry! No, good fit acquaintance, call for if your actors by the scroll. Nick Bottom, the weaver. We're ready. Name what part I'm for and proceed. <laughs> you, Nick Bottom, are set down for Pyramus. What is Pyramus? A uh, lover? Or a tyrant! <laughs> <laughs> a lover that kills himself most gallant for love. That will ask for some tears in the true performing of it. Francis. If I do it, uh, let the audience look to their eyes. Francis. I will, I will condole in some measure. Francis. The raging ruts and delivering shots shall break the locks of prison gates and finish for.
an Indian king, and jealous Oberon would have that child. But she perforce withholds that lovely boy, crowns him with flowers, and makes him all her joy. Peter, I don't think you're taking me to Or else you're that shoot and name is right. Are you called not? Love and Goodfellow? Are you not he? The prince and maidens of the villagers? Miss Eve, I wonder, is laughing at your arm? Does that have goblin ties to pop? You do their work? But they shall have good luck? Are, Are you, you not, not he? Thou speakest, thou light. I am the merry wanderer of the night. I kiss to Oberon and make him smile. Uh, but room, fairies, here comes Oberon. Fairies, I need your interest. And then you were gone. Ill met by moonlight, proud Titania. What? Jealous, Oberon? Fairies give him. Not I, thy lord. Well, then I must be thy lady. Why art thou here? The bouncing Amazon, her buskins mistress, and your warrior loves to deep you must be wed, and you come to give their bed joy and prosperity. <laughs> How canst thou thus for shame, Titania? <laughs> Glad said my credit with Apollota, knowing. I know thy love to Theseus. These are merely the forgeries of jealousy. And never since the middle summer spring met we on a hill, in dale, forest, or mead, by cave, fountain, or by rushy brook. And for the winds, piping to us in vain, and the revenge have sucked up from the sea contagious fogs which falling in the land have every pelting river made so proud that they have overborne their continents. And the same progeny of evils comes from our debate, from our dissension. We are their parents and original. Do you amend it then? It lies in you. Why should Titania cross her over on? I do but beg a little change of boy. This very land fights not the child with me. His mother was a votress of my order. Full often had she gossiped by my side. But she, being mortal of that boy, did die. And for her sake do I rear up her boy. And for her sake, I will not part with him. How long within this wood intend you stay? Perchance we'll have to think he is learning me. If you will patiently dance in our realms and watch our moonlight revels, go with us. If not, send me in and bear your promise. Give me that boy and I will go with thee. <laughs> <laughs> Gentle Puck, come hither. <laughs> Thou rememberest Cupid all on. A certain A he took, and loosed his love shaft smartly from his bow, as it should pierce a hundred thousand hearts. Yet marked I where the bolt of Cupid fell, and fell upon a little western flower before milk white, now purple with love's wound. Fetch me that flower. <laughs> the juice of it on sleeping eyelids lay will make man or woman man or woman madly dope on the next line to genetic seats. I'll put a girdle round about the earth in 40 minutes. Having one sisters, I'll watch the tawny when she is asleep and drop the liquor in her eyes. The next waking thing she looks upon, she shall pursue it with the soul of love. And there I take this charm from off her sight, as I can take it with another herb. I'll make her run up her page to me. I love thee not! But who comes here? I am invisible, and I will overhear their conference. I love 
did not. They're, therefore, pursuing us. Where's Lysander? And fair, Hermia, the one I'll slay, <laughs> others slay it me. Thou told me that was all that to this wood. Hence, get thee gone and follow me no more. You draw me, you hard-hearted ottoman. Do I invite you? Do I speak you fair? Or rather, do I not, in the plainest truth, tell you I do not, nor I cannot, love you? And even for that, do I love you the more? You would speak but as your spaniel. Spurn me, strike me, slap me, lose me, only give me leave. Unworthy as I am to follow you. Tell not too much the hatred of my spirit, for I am sick when I look on thee. And I am sick when I look not on you. You do impeach your mercy too much to trust the opportunity of night with the rich worth of your virginity. Your virtue is my privilege. For that it is not night when I do see your face. I'll run from thee and hide me in the bricks and leave thee to the mercy of wild beasts. The wildest have love such a heart as you? I will not say thy questions. Let me go. Or if thou follow me, do not believe, but I should do the mischief in the woods. You do me mischief. Fine, Demetrius. Uh. Your rocks do set a scandal on my staff. We cannot fight for love as men may do. We should be wooed, and we're not made to woo. I'll follow thee and make a heaven of hell to die upon the hand I love so well. Fare thee well, then, ere he do leave this world. Thou shalt fly him, and he shall seek thy love. Welcome, wanderer. Hast thou the flower there? Ah, there it is. I know a bank where the wild thyme blows, where ox lives in the nodding violet grows. There lies Titania sometime, sometime of the night. And with the juice of this, I'll streak her eyes and make her full of hateful fantasies. Take thou some of it and see through this grove. A sweet Athenian lady's in love with a disdainful youth. Anoint his eyes, but do for the next thing he espies may be the lady. Thou shalt know the man by the Athenian garments he hath on. The Athenian garments he hath on. Fair love, you fade with wandering in the wood. Does he speak, John? Got our way. <laughs> well, rest us, Hermia, if you think it good. And sorry for the comfort of the day. Be it so, Lysander. Find you out of bed. Cry upon six days or a One third shall serve as little for us both. One heart, one bed, two bosoms, and one one. Nay, good Lysander. For my sake, my dear, lie further off yet. Do not lie so near. Oh, take a sweet. Thanks to my innocence, that my heart unto yours knit. By your side, no better than than I. Here's the 